here. So today I want to show you many different ways to take one simple lipstick and turn it into a multitude of use. So the lipstick I will be using today is the Ruby Rue by MAC. Before I get started, it's really important that your lips are moisturized because the last thing you want is to wear a lipstick when you have chapped lips. So what I do every single morning without any fault, like even if I'm in a huge hurry, this is the first thing I'll do when I wake up. I'll put on the baby lips. This one is in the color, actually I don't even know which color this is because there's, I think the thing at the bottom fell out, but it's clear. So I put this on literally on my lips. I've already done it today, so I'm not gonna do it again. But I put on all of my lips and then I get with my routine, I start doing my makeup. And then once I'm done and I start doing my lips, which is always the last thing I do, I'll take a toothbrush and I'll literally like go in circles and just exfoliate. You can also use a mascara wand, obviously not one to choose for your mascara, but you can get those um, those reuse, not reusable, disposable <laughs> wands. So that's something else that you can use. But I, I like the toothbrush and it works for me. So that's that. The first thing that you can do is literally just take the tube and take your ring finger. Uh, sorry, that's not your finger. Anyway, you can use your ring finger, you can use the other side. <laughs> and I'm just going to put some on my finger and I'm literally going to put it on like a stain. So literally that's the first look. That's just, it's super easy. It almost looks like it's my natural lip color with just like a little bit of color added to it. I don't usually do this kind, but like, you know, on weekends sometimes I, I like to just put on a faint amount of lipstick. I'm kind of in that point now that if I don't wear lipstick I feel kind of naked so I always have to wear a little bit of lipstick. Second way that I can use it is after you have a little bit of the stain and you want it a little bit more intense you'll just grab your lip brush and I'm just going to apply it on top of my lips. Now for this you really have to stretch out your lips like this so that there's no cracks. Some people are probably going to comment on this. This is actually not a lip brush, it's a concealer brush. And I actually like this better because it's bigger and it actually creates the shape of my lips. So I really enjoy it. You can see that it's slightly little bit more intense, but it's still a nice everyday lip. You could wear this to work, you could wear this to school. It's super not really intimidating. Another way I like to transform my lips is what I've been doing lately. And I actually tweeted about it the other day. I'm going to put the Embrace Me lip liner and I'm gonna put it all over my lips. It just takes a lot of precision, so I'm looking down the mirror, so don't mind me. So at first, I'm outlining my lips. And usually I wouldn't have done the lip stain first, but I'm showing you different steps, so. I'm just gonna go right here. And now the outer edge, I find it works for me. I put my lip pencil um, flat and I kind of fill it in completely. Same thing for the other side. And then I'm just going to continue to just fill in my lips completely. So what's really cool about this is that it's a pink and then I'm going to take my concealer brush again and I'm going to take the Ruby Roo on both sides of the lip brush and I'm going to apply it on top of the lip pencil and obviously the more lip um, the more lipstick you add the more red it's going to go with just a pink undertone I just really like the raspberry look to it. This is the way I like to wear it. You can also add straight from the tube or another thing you can do this is a it's a lip mix from MAC. Um, I only got like a sampler size of it and it's white so what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a little bit more paleness. So I'm not gonna use a lot I'm actually gonna mix it a little bit with my, the color that's on my lip brush already and I'm just gonna put it at the bottom of my lip And as you can see, what it creates is that it just adds a little bit of lightness in the middle of your lip. I quite enjoy it. It's kind of making my lips look fuller. And last but definitely not least, 
if you enjoy wearing lip gloss, I'm not a really big lip gloss girl. I used to wear it a lot in high school, but I don't that much anymore. I'm just going to take a, um, a Dazzle Glass by MAC. This one is clear with just a little bit of glitter in it. And just so that I don't stain my brush, I'm just going to put it on, the, on my hand. I'm going to take that lip brush again. I'm going to grab the product. And that's another way you could wear it, like really glossy. You can add even more and make it look even shinier. I think this is a nice um, lip for if you're going out at night and you want to have like really glossy lips. It's a nice look too. So those are all the things that you can do with, with just one lipstick. And if it was a little bit less matte, um, like my video, you guys are going to see it. It's um, I'm making a video with this makeup on, but I was using a different lipstick. I was using my... Uh, 27 by YSL and I also use it as a blush. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of it or if you want to learn anything else. And also don't forget to subscribe to me on Twitter and I've also created a new blog so I'm going to talk about beauty stuff there. I'm probably going to do uh, outfit of the day or something like that because I know some of you guys want to know what I wear all the time. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!